Let's go to the split frame section here in the Gal Toolkit and then to PNG. The PNG version here, unlike the MoGrid version of the split frames, requires no render time, and that's why we made it. You'll have two different aspect ratios to work with, 16 by 9 landscape and 9 by 16 vertical. Let's double click to apply one of these to our timeline. So now we need to place a video in each frame. Be sure to move the PNG layer up to accommodate how many split frames you have, then place your video beneath each on their own layer. To crop the video to fit in frame, you can apply the crop effect and then go to effect controls and adjust the crop until it fits best. If you're using Premiere Pro version 25 and above, you can use the crop inside the properties panel. So now we can repeat this for a second video here. You can reposition it and then apply the crop and this side only crop it from the right side. And finally, our bottom video in the center is already cropped naturally by the two videos above. So we don't have to do anything to that video. It's good to go. You can also set a different color for the frame lines using the color replace effect. So you can set the target color to white as this is the default color. And then in the replace color parameter, you can specify the color we need. In this case, let's just use black. And now we're done. So using the PNG versions of the split frames will allow you to view them in real time. But if you use the MoGrid versions, it requires you to render for smoother playback. We hope this tool will help speed up your work. Up next, watch more videos on how to use different effects from our Gal Toolkit. See you next time.